here in the Fall Nationals. This is what you saved your lunch money for. To the green. Field going to race off into turns one and two right now. Battle at the front of the field between Cummins and Danner. Danner turning it down under the before the race lead as we've got one flipping wildly on the back straightaway. Two cars end up collected. Red lights come on. It's like C.J. Leary and Saban Bybent, the two drivers, coming to a rest of the back straightaway, but Leary didn't see how it started. Just all of a sudden, the car flipping violently end over end. So getting a look at the replay here on Flow Racing. Contact down the back straightaway and just started flipping in over end. As Drake mentioned the tail tank did come loose as they have it in the net here, and they will hoist it up and clear it from the scene. It's Robert Ballou trying to get the Hoosier trifecta presented by NOS Energy Drink. Keep an eye on him as we go back to green. Oh, breaks Danner, just bunny hopped her, and it turns one and two upside down and into the wall. Clean start, races it in, and unfortunately, she gets to hopping. And the concrete's what brings it to a stop. But he is up and out of the car, race fans. Round of the NOS Energy Star Can. Here we go. Logan Seavey going to throw caution to the wind on the high side. Entering turn number one. It's going to pay off onto the back straight. away, able to turn to the inside of the Monte Windows. The doors number three moves up into second. They are going to chase the 19 around here on lap number one. Field going to make their way around to click off lap number one. Mitchell Moles leading. Here comes CB once again. Takes it high, tries to dive it low. Instead, onto the back bumper of your leader. Going to pull the trigger on the slide into turns three and four. Backs are up to the cushion. Takes a little bit of a grab on it. Thought it was going to turn the car, but he comes around to lead the way. Logan Seavey leads lap number two. Mitchell Moles trying back to his inside, not able to get the run. Mitchell Moles still running in that second spot. Jason Persley running in third and trying to reel him in. As your leader continues to quickly put away lap cars, he has gone by the 76 of J.J. Hughes. Hughes currently being shown in the 13th position. Clears the 2X. He has lapped up to 11. Battle for second. Jason Persley closing up on Mitchell Moles. This time in a turn, three and four. Going to thread to the middle. Can't carry enough momentum to get by. Goes right back into the tire tracks of the 19. Both drivers working by the 3R. Kevin Thomas Jr. once again, Persley. Takes it up over the cushion on the entry of one. Has to wait in the car. The exit to number two. Kind of gets caught in the middle there. See the rear end kind of raise up and then settle back in about midpoint of the back straightway. The left rear is the only thing holding him on the cushion over in turns three and four. As they continue to jockey through slower traffic, the race for second is high-speed chess right now. And so far, the driver making the right moves is Mitchell Moles. Pursley still there stalking those. They work around to the front side of the speedway. Has not been enough to allow Kyle Cummins to try to close in and see if he can contend for it, though, as he rides about a straightaway back from that battle. The 5S, a chase stock in the 69 of Brady Bacon. Continue to round out your top six. Grant, Ballou, Gray, and Rogers still rounding out your top ten. White flag coming this time. As he will have clean racetrack in front of him for the time being. He'll work off a turn at number four. The lab coat's going to fly. Finding turns one and two for the final time. The Messiah Valley Transportation, Mountain Mechanical Contractors, Abacus Racing number 57 going to roll into turns three and four. And for the 14th time this season with the USAC Amsoil Sprint Car National Championship, Logan Seavey's going to victory lane, and he will claim a $20,000 payday here in the Fall Nationals.